Hello. Here we are again. So last week I showed you how to draw a very simple chimpanzee's head. Sort of like one of these. Here's, these are the end papers for the chimpanzees of Happy Town. And I'm going to do some dancing chimpanzees. A dancing chimpanzee this week. This is, these are the end papers, so you can see there are a few dancing chimpanzees here. Jumping about, doing all sorts. Um, and this week, I can use pencil and paper. I'm going to use what I usually use to draw, what I feel most comfortable with, which is uh, pen and ink. But pencil is absolutely fine. Get a nice bit of paper. I'm just going to put my ink over there. And um, let's get ready. So it's a little bit more complicated than last week. We're just going to start off with the face again. And this time, I think he's going to have his eyes closed. Because when someone's really caught up with dancing, sometimes close their eyes, stay in the moment. Okay, so there are his eyes. Remember last time, lots of C's involved. And uh, there's, here's this fur, the side of his face. Now just do a little bit of fur this time because his face is going to be slightly ch tilted around this way. And a nice big chin. Let's go for a nice big chin. A couple of nostrils there. And then I'm going to do a straight line for his mouth because he's not, he's so, he's concentrating on his dance. And a bit more fur down here. Do you remember the squiggly line we did? Jaggedy line. Now the ear here is going to be a bit smaller than on this side because he's, you can't see as much of it because it's behind him there. We're going to do the same thing with having the C shape with a little line in it. And here we're going to have the D shape with a little line in it. And here we're going to have some, that squiggled line with some fur coming across his head. And let's have spiky hair this time. There we go. There's the face. Now, what's his body going to be doing for this dance? I think this arm we're going to have coming out sideways. Just remember, keep these about the same length, the same width across. Now he's going to the elbow. So let's just draw the other one to the elbow as well. There's a line coming up there. Now his body's going to come down at an angle, sort of like this. This arm's going to be about the same width. Come down there, there, we've got to the elbows now. So these going to have angular elbows, so they're going to be quite turned around like this. That jiggly line, there we are. And this elbow is going to come down. Angular sort of dance. Now for the fingers, maybe this one could be pointing. So there's a thumb, one finger, and the other two over like that, over like that, like the letter M, and then we're just going to do the little in at the top, and those are the other two fingers. He's pointing there, and this hand is going to be open, I think, so it's, there's his thumb, I'm trying to get them about the same size, and then the arm, and the sausage, another sausage, it's at three, it's going to come down like that, and this is the rest of his body. Body's coming out like this. What his legs going to do? I think his legs are going to be sort of turned in a bit. So a line coming down like this. This is his body. Let's follow this line just to get his body in there. So this leg's sort of behind. It's going like that. He's doing some sort of weird sort of dance where you see he twists his leg out this way. So it's sort of like the twist or something, I think. Quite like that. And then this arm. This foot's going to be taking his weight, so it's going to come down like that. And his toes are bent round, so it's a slight, slight angle there. Two, three. Don't forget, if I'm going too fast, just stop, catch up, and start it again. Okay, now this leg's gonna set it going in to the other knee, and out again. Sort of like a dance called the Charleston, I think. A weird funky dance move and this foot's going to come as the heel
here. So a little pointy line going down on this side and then two points on either side with a gap in the middle. And here we're going to have a nice rounded scallop shape and some lines coming there. The line's going to sort of start following the edge of that line and following the edge of this line. So we'll meet about there. A few shadows. A few more dots. Now, do you remember what I said about the horizon line? Let's put the horizon line about here. It's got to be very straight. I'm, going to, I'm probably going to smudge all my ink now. I'm going to go across here. All the way across. And let's put an island in the distance, like we did last time. It's an island far away. And let's put some palm trees on it, because you know I love drawing palm trees. One, two. So just some lines. A bit like last week where you did the banana shapes coming off, but this time it's just, yep, letter C's again coming off the top of the palm tree. Oh, lots of palm trees there. I imagine he's going to swim over to there later. Let's do some more vegetation coming up here. There's lines coming up. And a few waves coming in maybe. And as the waves go into the distance, they get smaller. So they're just lines far away. And there we have a dancing chimpanzee. I'd love to see how you got them with your drawings. So, can you uh, get your mums and dads to post them? The hashtag draw with guy, all one word. And I'd love to see them. So, well done, you're an artist.